was born March 22nd, 2011, and our journey is a little bit unique because during my pregnancy, we found out about his diagnosis. He is diagnosed with Emanuel syndrome. It's a very rare chromosome imbalance. Um, there's about two to 300 uh, people in the entire world diagnosed with that. Um, so we uh, were quickly uh, identified as you know needing some services even before he was born. Um, so we've kind of been working with Heartland the whole time. Uh, Leslie has helped us get uh, access to different equipment that we would need to figure out what things would work for him. We're able to use um, a couple different pacers, um, gait trainers, and um, he loves those. And so then we kind of learned what works for him and how to have that accessible to him later in the classroom and then also what we can have at home. And then also the, the kind of new program that the PTs made the uh, adaptive maters. Aiden got to be one of the first kids that Leslie had trial one of those and he loved it and then we made one for him for his birthday so that was a, a fun thing to get to do too that she helped us with. Aiden turned three last spring and so we transitioned him to an ECSC room in Southeast Polk. Um, we did weekly visits to the classroom. Aiden's family got to meet the teacher and we had him visit at various times of the day. Um, we were blessed to be able to transition to the preschool setting with all of the therapists uh, scheduling um, multiple classroom visits where they were along with us um, helping figure out what he needs in the classroom and helping us get acquainted with what they would be doing with him and for him and uh, getting acquainted with the staff. And So that was actually kind of a, a long and helpful process of multiple classroom visits where we got to do all that with our therapist and um, getting him ready for the classroom setting. And then also like with his communication device, getting ready for that to have school vocabulary in it and for other staff to be using that. You know, he was a little superstar when he started preschool and met some of his goals um, fairly quickly. Um, they're continuing to work on expanding the communication. He's continuing to work with the same physical therapist, trying to work on sitting more independently, learning to stand and they're ho hopeful that um, one day he'll walk. I can't imagine trying to do this without resources like Heartland. Um, I can't imagine trying to search those all out myself while also trying to deal with his team of 12 doctors. Um, you know that it's a lot to balance and so that's one of the benefits is the services come to us, they help equip us with what we need to know and what resources we um, have access to that we didn't even know, like his communication device. Heather helped us um, with that. We didn't even know that was an option for him and she said let's have our assistive technology specialist come out and meet with him and we didn't even know there was such a thing as an assistive technology specialist and things like that that then kind of walk into our lives that um, bring the resources closer to us and help us know even what to know about or ask for um, and that we don't even really have to ask, it's just provided for us has been such a benefit. Uh, so I can't imagine um, you know, certainly he wouldn't have made any of the areas of progress that he's made without their assistance, and we're truly blessed.